suicide recycling program and well trash at one point will be all automated through these Shaw trucks and uh, the truck doesn't have a mind of its own you have to separate your trash and recycling side by side but a foot in between each barrel is better than touch and I know it helps to keep it from blowing over in the wind but you know in the winter when there's not much room you'll end up knocking the barrel over trying to grab one or the other. Three items that are not recycling that I can think of are anything big plastic, kids toys, um, anything, try to think like a 55 gallon plastic drum that you'd be able to fit, your yard waste barrels, stuff like that, those aren't um, recycling. Tanglers, um, Christmas lights, hoses, uh, any type of cordage, um, cloth, anything like that is not recycling. Clothing you have to bring to thrift stores and donate. All we really take is stuff you'll buy at the grocery store, you know, aluminum cans, bottles, cardboard, plastic, newspaper, that pretty much covers it, you know, and your cardboard should be cut down. Just because you can fit it in your barrel doesn't mean that it's going to dump out every single time. The truck has to grab the barrel so that it won't dump and you know if you jam a piece of cardboard in there there's a good chance it might be left in there the lids the biggest thing is the lids break the truck can't stop the lid from breaking so if you look at the lid it has an arrow facing the right direction of which way it should face backwards is eventually going to snap the lid off and you're going to be moving a nice block in winter so you could have them facing the right direction side by side it's the best outcome Hello, my name is Michelle Powell and I am the director for the Lemonster Health Department. Hi, I'm Jessica Wozniak. I'm the Lemonster Recycling Consultant and we're going to tell you how to recycle smart here in Lemonster. First, we'll talk about paper. There's a lot of paper products that can be recycled. Clean paper, magazines, catalogs, junk mail are all recycled and can be placed in the blue cart. Paperboard, um, paper packaging is all recyclable, including cereal boxes. Cardboard is recyclable, can be placed in the blue cart. Pizza boxes are recyclable. Grease is okay. Please remove any remaining food. Egg cartons can be placed in the blue cart. Calendars and other notebooks, even with the metal spirals, are okay and can be placed in. Magazines are recyclable. If they are wrapped in plastic, please take the plastic off. The plastic goes in the trash and the magazine can go into the blue cart. Wrapping paper, unfortunately, is not recyclable because many types of paper have non-paper additives in it. So please bag it up and place it into the trash. Shredded paper is dreaded paper at the recycling center. It either ends up floating all over the place like confetti, or if it gets wet, turns into pulp. Either way, it isn't captured for recycling. Please bag it up and put it in your trash. We do have some local shredding events. In Lemonster, an annual collection event in May and at the Household Hazardous Waste Day in November, both at the DPW. There are many metal containers in the kitchen that are recyclable. Aluminum cans or pie plates and trays, tin and steel cans and aluminum foil are recyclable. As you can see here, labels and lids are okay. There are many items made up of plastic that are recyclable and some are not. Plastic bottles, jars, tubs, are recyclable and can be placed in your blue cart. Clear plastic hinge containers called clamshells, such as items that hold your strawberries or your lettuce, can be placed in the blue cart. Caps and lids are okay, but must be secured on the container. No loose caps or lids. Pumps, as in hand soap or shampoo bottles, the pumps are trash while the container is recyclable. Styrofoam is not recyclable. Please place this in your trash. 
Black takeout containers are trash. The reason we say no to black plastic is because recycling facilities sort plastic by bouncing a beam of light off of them. Since black plastic absorbs light, it can't be sorted and goes straight through the system and off to disposal. Plastic bags are not recyclable in your blue cart. Plastic film, bubble wrap, any kind of plastic bag. Please put that in your trash and please don't use it to transport your recycling to the blue bin. Glass containers and glass bottles are both recyclables. And remember, labels and caps on bottles are okay. Empty all containers before recycling to remove all food and liquid from them. You can always put them through a quick rinse in your dishwater before placing them in your recycling tote. Have your totes not been picked up? Or did you receive an orange sticker? Let's talk about curbside tote guidelines. There are actually two wrongs in this picture. If you carry your recycling in a plastic bag to your car, please dump out the recycling into the car. Then dispose of your plastic bag into the trash. Juice and milk cartons are not recyclable at this time. In addition to wrongly placing the plastic into the recycling cart, there appears to be a sneaker in the bag. Clothing and textiles are now banned from entering the trash, but that doesn't mean you place them in your recycling. Look for clothing bins across the city. While this might not be about recycling, overflowing trash in the green carts is not acceptable. The top flap cover on the green carts must be closed. Do not leave them open and pile bags of rubbish on top. You can dispose of one bag of trash per week for free at the AKS transfer station located at 15 Cobbler Drive in Fitchburg, or you can purchase the official overflow bags for $4 each located in the Lemonster Health Department at City Hall 25 West Street. If you are still confused about something being recycled, please visit RecycleSmartMA.org and use the Recyclepedia.